So uh, my name is uh, Jody Hagens, and uh, I'm on a quest for more friends. This talk references an email that I sent to the Stood Proposals mailing list back in January of 2020. First, uh, some use cases. Uh, traditional friendship, uh, when Blarg is a friend of the class blip, it's a friend of everything. This kind of friendship is probably overkill for most situations, but it does grant Blarg some complete access to all the internals of blip. And here, there are no friend declarations. So there's no friendship at all and no access to the internals of blip. Uh, or is that really true? The data member function has access to all of its internals. And furthermore, it can touch or return anything that it wants. And any piece of code with a blarg can call this function and gain access to the stuff protected by this member function. Um, this is called the passkey idiom, and the parameter is there solely to provide access to this member function. Anyone with the passkey can call this function. If you don't have a passkey, then you can't call this function. And the member function is kind of like a door to a room that has access to some subset of the private stuff. And if you have a passkey, then you can open the door. It can be generalized uh, with templates. And it can be used to grant discrete friendship to different parts of the class through multiple functions. So if you have a passkey foo, then you can call bippity. And if you can have a passkey bar, then you can call boppity. And if you have a passkey baz, then you can complete the trifecta and call boot. So the main idea to this idiom is restricting who can create a passkey. So if everyone could create a passkey, then there would be no access control. Kind of like if everyone were super, then no one would be. Um, but this is how it's mostly implemented. The passkey grants friendship to T so that T can construct one of these passkeys. Note that the constructor here is private. The inheritance is to deal with some aggregate initialization madness because even though the constructors are private, you can still put two curly braces together and construct one anyway. Um, so the deleted move constructor is ample justification to comply with the Hennet requirement, which is that this chart must appear somewhere in every C++ presentation. This is my favorite slide of all time. So what if we want to grant access to more than one class? It seems easily enough to do. Just add another type to the passkey. And here we grant a passkey for both Blarg and for Baz. And then it's easy enough to implement. We go modify our passkey implementation to take variadics like we do for everything else, and then declare our little friend with a T dot, dot, dot. Except that breaks because the compiler doesn't like this. Uh, the compiler does not allow you to have variadic friends. So this is sad. Here comes another example, CRTP. Uh, this example is motivated by an example from one of my actual human friends, Chris Uzdavanis. And uh, here, we only want the CRTP base class to have access to our internals. So we grant friendship to the base class. And this is similar, just with using multiple base classes. Note, you can use variadics for inheritance. And you can use variadics with the using statement. But as one would expect from an engineer-based design, one friend at a time is more than enough for anyone. Uh, it's an error to declare multiple friends at the same time. This is sad. We need to variadic all the things. Um, so this is the first part of an email that I sent to the Stood Proposals mailing list in January of 2020. And basically, I'd like to add a new clause to section 17.5.3 colon four, uh, such that the following example would make all classes in the expanded pack friends. Looks kind of simple enough, but it's been almost a year and a half since then, and it's my fault. I need a friend, or maybe more than one. Um, the feedback that I got was that I need a working prototype implemented in a major compiler before the committee will even give me the time of day. And I'm not a compiler writer, and I don't want to be a compiler writer. But someone is a compiler writer, or someone wants to be a compiler writer, or someone wants to want to be a compiler writer. 
and uh, so I've waited for a year and a half because I don't have a working bank quotation, but time's running out. If you're willing to help me in any capacity, please reach out to me, especially if you're willing to kind of write a prototype of this. It seems kind of simple. I actually opened up the Clang source code and looked at it for about 20 minutes and had a headache for six hours. Um, Jody Hagen's on all the platforms here at the conference. So if you can help me out, please, I would love to because this would kind of be nice. Thank you. You can reach me at coachhagens at gmail.com.